Alright, and let's go ahead and get started. Howdy, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shargon Bear, and welcome to the channel where today we're going to be checking out another game via the Steam Next Fest. This is Ultros. And if you don't know about Ultros, uh, be prepared for something extremely trippy, especially after uh, the gameplay demo for uh, Children of the Sun that just recently got done playing. I don't know if I'm going to upload that before or after this. Either way, Ultros is a Metroidvania. Uh, with a very stylish, crazy, uh, hallucinogenic art style. Um, it is about apparently going to a place called the Sarcophagus, which apparently is like a cosmic space uterus. That's all you need to know about the game, other than it's a Metroidvania, because it's just going to be trippy, trippy, trippy. And I cannot tell you how much I love this little backdrop while I'm explaining the game uh, before I start. So that being said, if you like the content and you want to see more games, like Ultros here on the channel, feel free to like and subscribe, comment down below. Uh, and funny enough, this demo is a demo that we're playing, but the game literally comes out in like two days on February 13th, if I am uh, correct, which I think I am, I just looked at. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it, uh, see how far we can get, and yeah. That moon has a smile. Oh no, that's an eye. Well, that's definitely something. I am a big fan of the art style. Hopefully it being so all over the place is still makes it very readable. The art style in of itself, kind of, you know, without it being super crazy, reminds me of something akin to, like, the, uh, steampunk build games, or steampunk games, uh, like, uh, uh specifically, I'm thinking of, uh, Heist. Oh, okay, I don't know what that was about. Looks like we have a flip. Maybe we'll go this way? Very fluid. Don't seem to have any attack buttons, so it's Oh, the ground rumbled between our feet and we fell through. We can slide the circle. And we grab the legends. That's a that's that's nice. Not enough games let you grab ledges in Metroidvanias. It's such a weird thing. Uh, eventually, that's like something that you gain, as opposed to just like have right off, like as if grabbing something is uh, is like a special skill. Uh, we see a guy down there. Oh, hey, here's our first weapon. Go ahead and pull this out. Very stylish. The Unrest Tonto, a short sword of relatively low echelon, plucked from the fallen corpse. The Tonto knells a rhythmic hum. Be patient, but never deal with hesitation. Oh, I love those sounds. Oh, you even have like a little spin attack. All right. Who is this? Hello, Mind Flayer. Oh, the light for the sake of Marduk's eyes. Damn, that hurts. Huh? You there, can you hear me? Right, an audience of one. Behold the umpteenth failed attempt to make a grand escape from this, this sarcophagus. I know what needs to be done, but the messed up continuum around here? Never mind, listen, I need your help. Just give me a moment to get my head straight. Meet me up ahead, and I'll show you, okay? I'll explain everything. And like that, he is gone. I wonder if he's dead. Uh, so it looks like we have a thing up here. Oh, okay. Uh, summoning attacks can be countered. Use a slide to slide through the enemy. Press triangle to retaliate. That was a lot of stuff happening. Battered Pompa Larvae. The cerebral product of the power pump, uh, pump pump. Due to the violent lacerations of the external membrane, it is rendered limp and lifeless. This body part has lost some of its potency due to the sloppy execution of the beast.
Wait, uh, is that eat? Did it say eat? Oh, yeah, it did say eat. Uh, up a lemons. All right, then. Try to pick those up. It looks like they give us uh, varying amounts of things. Not very specific on that. Why does this make me feel like it float upwards? Is this where we came from? This is where we came from. Okay. I don't know how we go up. No, 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 not a bounce resource. Okay, so we're gonna go back this way. I know that we think we uh, had other ways we can go up to. Oh wait, there's another. Is this where we came from earlier? Oh, that other part in the middle can be broken as well. Let's go break that other part. What do we have down here? Jump down. Okay, easier said than done. Nice. Graphically, the game is insanely beautiful looking uh temple of motherhood okay are we in like a new location or is that like a luckily for us we managed to deal with that in a very good mo um uh, method exists violence has beaten this once injury energy rich organ into something horribly unrecognizable if we have a map we do we're in an entirely different area i might have to go back to the other one. Oh god luckily for us we managed to get really good work with the uh the slide and retaliate. View items. Oh, so the different uh, amounts of health that give you. Nice. I could have sworn that I planted something in that there fertile spot. Gardener. Gardener. Oh, our day greets you, my friend. Imagine this. I was just about to bury a delicate seed in this rich soil. But then I asked myself, Gardener, you drifting cloud, didn't you sow here already? So we can basically uh, go into the same thing here. Gardener. Luckily, I have many seeds. Yeah. It's never too late to start anew. Cacumen. Due to an unusually spicy mixture of nutrients, the cacumen is partially cyanic. Transmogrified by the sarcophagus with energy streams, it appears echoes the Ultros entity to such an extent that many of the Shamsul stroke eat and stop eating it out of self deluded respect. It's never too late to start a game. Alright, so now we have something that gives us 25 health and adds 25 and adds nutrition we're not sure of the nutrition yet as to what it gives us well, that's cool oh shit i didn't even know that was there okay i just 
straight up fell where we're at. Downwards we go then, I guess. It's very dangerous. I like the little backflip and the little mirage it does. <laughs> Juggling enemies can be juggled when the juggle indicator appears. Hit the enemy again into A mode. That's cool. Hey, look, sorry for the confusion. I just had to find my bearing. Things get blurry in here, and I've been stuck since forever and a day. I'm Wallet, with eyes that spy in all directions. Ha! <laughs> Forget it. Just a bureau thing. Anyways, further ahead, there's a bastard of a shaman hooked to a pod. Here, have a look. Not so far distance away. This shaman bastard sustains the illusion and messes with the continuum, keeping anyone from getting out. You must go there and bash that pot real good. Getting out of here is only possible if the illusion shatters. I beg of you before you lose your mind like the others. Dip Terra Cerebrum, a milky and nutty flavor, once you buy through. What is this? That's a, a big fat, uh, nothing. What is this? Ugu Moomin, a seed faintly glowing a green lignin. If attended to, its amorphous potential will tassel out into a climbing plant of Yugen based properties. I am Ugu Moomin. Well, alright then. It doesn't seem like much of anything here is interactable, but we can't like this. Now what does that do for us? I bet, I bet it gives us another seat, right? Black stuff over here. Bad? Bad. Oh, we can't get through. It doesn't hurt us. But it is, you know, there. I guess we make our way to the east. Mushishi germinates into an algae carpet that will thrive on most surfaces. Produces aggregated fruits with a high nutrient density. Cut in half, and its exposed structure weeps in intensity, glowing with lact uh, lacteal secrete. Mushishi seeds wonder if it has a soul. Doesn't look like we can get through from this side, but we can still make our way upward. Nope. Yeah, if I do this. You were able to make it there? Just barely. There we go. Perfect variety. Is that what that means? We were able to get up here on top. Bloody pulp. And this is gonna drop us on the other side? Yes, it's gonna drop us on the other side. The uh, 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 
and Nemeon carries a memory from the Sercopius. What kind of memory? That thing is holding several hands. Deliverance. The path of deliverance goes through trials and tribulations. Trials make it strong, and I know I have to be strong. I am the one to carry out the promise. I am Quelia. Uh, does that become part of our inventory? Looks like, uh, oh. Sneaking. Combo. Uh, gardens appear on the map. Here's our map. Okay. Let's start making our way downward. this oh not good uh galvin yarn within its third lake a mess of carp lies a bitter sweet trace of benzoic acid the first bite tastes like elysium the second like another cycle of temporal procreation okay so something here hurts us maybe it's the the thing that it was sitting atop now that has a shield Guard break. Use heavy attacks to break an enemy's guard. Hold square to charge. I really like that. Pom pom larvae. Despite being severed from the spinal cord, the firm uh, hindbrain is still right. Thank you. Uh, looks like we have another place to plant a seed if we find one. We do not have one at the time of now. Okay, we're locked in here. Why are we locked? Nothing there. I'm wondering if we need to break all the glowy green balls of stuff. You know what I mean? That's not gravel. What do we have here? A safe pod, maybe? Yeah, okay. Cortex. Cortex memories can be unlocked in the Cortex. Each memory needs a specific amount of nutrition to be unlocked. Get nutrition by eating. Okay. Alright, so now we have Sneak. That's an interesting idea. Drop kick. Air Tesseract, a quick double kick with juggling potential, performing by pressing up and square at the same time while jumping. Okay, and uh, what about the... Nothing enough to give me what I need for that.
Go back in. We're not done there. Slice that open. We can get the other thing. All right. So the only thing we haven't gotten is projectile counter. Scudder Scout, chewy on the outside, soft on the inside. I want to drop kick something. Use a variety of attacks to defeat your brain and get the best foils. Pummeling an enemy with the same attack will ruin the spoils. So that's what it means by uh, perfect variety. Surprisingly sweet and tender. So I like the, the reason for why you have to use these different moves. Usually the games will tell you, hey, um, you know, here's a whole bunch of moves, but they're all super cool. They don't really add anything to anything other than just being like fashionable, so to speak. Uh, but the fact that this game straight up tells you, hey, you get better rewards for mixing up your combat. I like that. I really like that. There should be more of that. We have another Ogre Moon. Go ahead and plant that. Oh. Oh, so you can pick them up if you want. Actually, I'm going to take this with us. Uh, because I believe one of the out of the white places we have. Uh, oh, I see why I, I, I see what I want. I'm gonna jump on this, jump on this, and jump on this. And that's gonna get us up there to that memory. Alright, I like it. I meditate on their words. Searching my heart, it brings me closer to the barrier to the binding. They told me I was the king, the one who unlocks. I am Quelia. I am one of them. Alright, so we have that. Uh, it looks like we have another direction to our top right. Alright, so for thrashing about for as long as I did, I think I finally figured out the answer to super freaking dumb. Alright, so I tried jumping on this thing so many times and to no avail, uh, but somehow I went and actually looked up what other people were doing. And, uh, apparently, uh, that was it. Then they were, uh, they were just jumping on top of that. Uh, which is crazy to me that it just wasn't actively working. That's unfortunate. I spent, like, 20 minutes just running around trying to figure out what's going on. It is what it is. Other than like this light thing, uh, everything else has been fairly fantastic. Oh, it looks like we lost two parts down here. Here, part. 
Alright, now that I'm back on the road, I'm uh, fairly happy with the outcome. Hey! Here's the Nequila statue from the memory. I think that's the same one. Battered skeletal tentacle. Mucus can still harvest and be harvested from the severely battered skeletal tentacle. Hey, we got another uh, Ogumil. Nice. I don't even care them. Hey, we got an Ogre Moomin. Moom Why aren't we able to play? Weird. Okay. I was trying to be all flashy and stuff, but it wouldn't let me. Ow. A uh, perfect variety, it says, but, uh... If variety means taking damage to the face, you're welcome. Oh, the, the thing actually bounced into the next room. That's an interesting thing, because uh, usually whenever you leave a room, you lose access to whoever was there. Where does that get us here? Uh, back to square one. Okay, we've actually been here before. Nice. It's got a little uh, backtracking thing. Now uh, let's go ahead and head back down. Here. Get the other thing. There we go. Where are we at? Oh, we're not that far away from the objective. Let's go. We're not going to be able to get up there. Not yet. I'm assuming at some point in time there's probably like a double jump or something akin to a double jump. Okay, so this looks like a perfect spot for Hogu Men, but uh, nope, not happening. Oh, wait. Apparently you have to select it in order for it to, to be up to the ground. There we go. Got another same crystal here and another Ogamemon. It's like a bit. I want to see if we can get the spell projectile thing because we got that spine from one of the enemies. I want to see if that ups our uh, yug. So I think we can actually hit it. Yeah. Hit enemy projectiles to knock them out of your way. Alright. So we're like topped off on nutrients other than yug. I'm gonna, that's how I'm going to pronounce it from now on. <laughs> looks like that's all the abilities we're getting in this demo. Hey, look. It actually looks like a normal kitchen. Or living room. Dining space. Living room. What do we hear? 
What's it going up? What is this? What is that? Ooh, what is that? Is that a double jump? The extractor, the Tenebra Caligarum, is a tool used by the Baryan Shamasol in their cleansing ritual. It has popularly become known as the extractor. Although not intended, it's more nimble you just can use it to double jump. Hello? Who is in there? You there. So, Jenner, how did you get... Impossible. From the imprint of the Moas through the shadows, the Tenebra Caligarum binds. To those chosen. But they trusted me with a calling. I am Quelia, called of the Chancel, Chalice Aberia. I am the Chalice. I. I need to go. Well, okay then. Seems like she has a. Oh. oh, this is leading us the way we need to go. Why did the music pick up so heavy here? Get that down. Not that it isn't great. You know what? I want to, before we go any further, I want to try something. Uh, a room above us required two Oko Linen in order to be, uh, to be planted. So, what happens if we actually plant this Oko Linen here? I feel like the music is still a little too loud. Damn. Still not tall enough to jump up on those by myself. That's okay. Uh, nothing to get. Oh, there's actually like a second room up there though. Are you, are you serious though? Like, not tall enough, huh? Damn, okay. Uh, something else is gonna have to leave me there eventually. Let's get upstairs. To her, is she here to replace me? Pull yourself together, Clay. Breathe, breathe. Not going that way. Why are you following me? Stay away.
horror abomination goes thank you for becoming a nice step stool for me oh, oh that's a nice little door there it seems as though this is a destination on this side as well I have come in and Even plant the seed here. Get that one with us. Just do anything for us? Nope, nothing. Wait, our health lit up. Okay, just my imagination, I guess. As the mind player thing said. Uh, we woke up somewhere else. Uh, where are we? Oh, okay. Yeah, a little tether thing is going in there. Turner modification. Extractors some uh, come. Or sorry, extractors come equipped to hold difficult emotions for safe disposal. They can also run multiple utility programs. This one, however, appears encrypted. Okay. The incubator. You myopic fool. The cathetic transference has been disrupted, meaning that. The birthing has begun. No time to waste. <laughs> oh, so that's how you get rid of the uh, little purple black walls. We could do another Ogo Mimit in there, but I'm not even gonna worry about it right now at the moment. up the stairs here. We have ourselves another save point. You know the, 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 the weird thing about this is these little purple floaty things? This is called the sarcophagus and it says that it's like a cosmic uterus. So these little purple things, little spermies, little swim swims. I don't know how I feel about that. Any awaiting connection. Let's follow the little swim swims and see where they go. They go there. Is this a boss? We just got done with the boss. Unless this is something else. Oh, we're getting sucked in. No, the little swim swims. Oh, we're somewhere else. Where are we at? The living quarters. That's a really cool effect. You dare enter the humid crib? The insolence. Stand back, Sojourner. Finally, the metamorphosis has commenced. My part in the ushering, my destiny, forthwith. Oh, that's very angry. Girl, you need to get away from that.
Oh no. We've been enveloped by the very eldritch horror abomination egg looking thing. Oh, and there's some more uh the cycle begins anew. Let our quiet mycelium lament the unrest and return to what it once was. All right, thanks for you for playing. That was Ultros. That has to be probably one of the trippiest Metroidvania games I've ever played a demo for or anything of, honestly. And I've played quite a bit. Um, uh, to my mind, uh, it actually makes me think of uh, oh god, what is it? There's another one where it's like inner body sort of thing. Everything's made of like teeth and stuff. Uh, what is it called? I'm I'm shorting on the name of it. Uh, I am going to find out what the name of it is real quick. It is in my library. Let's go in the library for a second. It starts with a G. I've got the don't 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 say anything about my library. Grime. It reminds me a lot of Grime in that sense. Uh, but yeah. So that being said, that was Ultros. Um, that is a Metroidvania coming out on February 13th. If you'd like to pick yourself up a copy of Ultros at the time of release, uh, Phil, I will leave a link down in the comments so that you can check out the game for yourself. That being said, if you like the content and you want to see more games like Ultros here on the channel, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. As always, I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Later.